good morning evening afternoon i am going to do a brief quick star seed uh reading uh, okay this is from the last reading don't pay no attention to this check the videos oh we're not gonna listen to that i can't do her now nah. let's see about this little girl all right um see what's going on for our star seeds uh get in now right sit down we'll get started how i'm going to set the intentions would be a three card spread i don't know why i just feel like doing it that way um and i'm checking to see if this particular deck has a three card spread if not i'm gonna do my thing try to be respectful so they have a four and a five i'm sticking with three all right <laughs> so the current energy any potential challenges and or what's the opposite of a challenge the good part about it it could be good bad win lose or draw and then the outcome and advice is what we'll do so let's get the cards shuffled up for our star codes astro oracle reading what is the current energy what's the situation what's most important and if you say for who whoever resonates with i mean that's between source and the algorithm of the internet and the aliens to get the right people here i'm gonna say for us all <laughs> so if you resonate hit the like button if you do not watch another video or come back tomorrow we got roots this is my this gives me ten of pentacle vibes so i'm not gonna even lie to you love this the situation has something to do with roots earth earth energy um i don't know some of you guys could even be into vegetation and like growing shit or whatever and it's like here if you are trying to get to the root cause of a question who knows but we are going to read from the book itself to see what it has in store for us but just looking at the imagery that's blue that's nothing and then there's brown so that's kind of cool all right oh 12th house it may be interesting i did say that getting down to the root of something okay look at the root chakra for some of us it could be that and scorpio again investigate i knew somebody had some questions i was trying to figure something out okay so the challenging aspect and or the beauty in it okay let's say that because it's not always a challenge uh for everybody but let's see what the beauty in it is or what the challenge um could be it's a lot of whatever it is your perspective i want to say perspective but perception Ooh. now what i like about this is they playing games i just don't favor her and i hope she don't beat me up i don't favor her either it's just a lot that i don't favor we'll do that 11 11 perfect so <laughs> we have the moon with the number 19 which i think is super dope so we have the root of something and then we have the perception of something this is getting good and i didn't even tell y'all that a billion cards fell out on the floor and i wonder if you want to be nosy and know Ooh, but we have capricorn we have libra and we have scorpio so it's gonna be different uh for some of you investigate achieve and balance looking into it sticking to it and i having whatever's necessary to even do all that right outcome and advice this is juicy i was just gonna do something quick little fluffy uh stuff but this is good stuff okay outcome okay outcome or advice because they're acting funny outcome or advice <laughs> i like when the sun card comes up when i'm talking shit i'll hold that because i feel it but i like for it to be more apparent we have change okay can you be specific jesus I don't like that. I'm sorry, it's not me, guys. I'm, I'm not trying to boss here reading. I just want them to be as clear as the other two cards were, okay? Because there's a lot going on here. So it could be a lot of you, Pisces, okay? I'm just going to pull from the top if I continue to feel this energy. And I may have the card already out. Okay, cool. We have Venus came up in another reading. Pull from the top, fourth house, home. Home could be the body, home could be the planet, home could be your actual house. So, ooh, the, the advice or outcome was a lot, wasn't it? Maybe that's why we gotta get to the root of the shit, huh? So Saturn came out, but Chiron was first. I'm gonna lay that there. 
we have the number 28, 19, and 38. And this will be our bonus card. We have Saturn, which is structure. Maybe the root of it is the structure. Uh, what grounds was it built on? Where are we trying to take it? We got some realistic expe expectations or not? Um, <laughs> all right, so these girls is something else. I put it on high maintenance on hip hop, and I was just like, this is, these girls gonna get me. All right, so the root card, imagine your spine um, extends down into the earth like a tap root, the strong central root under a tree through the earth to a point on the sun's path below. Latin for bottom of the sky, right? So the bottom of the sky, that's nice. The actions to take, it says, look to the roots. Think about what makes you feel at home and secure. What creates sanctuary for you? Investigate, that came up, the foundations and become conscious of the traditions and uh, assumptions that underlie the situation. Mm. And then you got perception coming up. So I think it's very important to investigate the foundations and become conscious of the traditions and assumptions that underlie the situation. That means tradition is what has always happened and assumptions are what came first, the chicken or the egg for me. Cause it's like, is it this way because it's always been that way? Or is it this way because we've always had the perception and manifested it? Mm, okay, I don't know. Now the challenge is unconscious patterns from your personal history may underlie the situation and need excavation. Excavation, I learned about that in dental school a long time ago when they carved shit out, I think that's what it's called. The gift is, right, because it's always the bright side, build roots of your own, shit. Feel your spine extend like a deep tap root of a tree into the ground. Feel the strength of the earth pulsing up through you, holding you strong through any storm. I like that. Now, the moon card. Dun, 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 dun. Perception, right? Why is perception coming up after it told us to investigate and see what came first, the chicken or the egg? Hmm? Let's see. Perception. The moon is the ruler of cancer. All right. It speaks of deep inner rivers of emotions. What motivates you, how you experience and express your feelings, and how you nurture and need nurturance. In your astrological chart, the moon is important. So some of you, the moon, in my opinion, tells a lot about your love life and your relationships. People always say, well, I'm compatible with this sun sign and I'm not compatible with this sun sign. But I've seen Saturn host very strong challenges when it comes to compatibility and or what could bring people together. And I've also seen the moon have more of an impact on relationship than the sun signs. So this doesn't have to be about relationships, okay? Just wanted to throw that out there. It says, first, perceive what unspoken emotional inner calling and patterns drive you, okay? Look at your own moon sign. I knew that was happening. And if you are interested in a galactic reading or a personal natal chart reading, we can do that which tells personalized about you and your experiences potentially and or we could talk about just what to expect from what's happening now because I do readings on the collective like what the planets and the stars and everything are doing as far as the western hemisphere uh, because it may be a, a different in other continents I want to point that out so depending on what continent you're on we can definitely do something personal for you um, even if it's going back to your roots or just the current moment and even putting those two in one reading to say because the stars align like this when you were born and they're like this today how does that affect you uh, specifically right so that's kind of cool it's kind of like mathematician but astrological attition so anyway uh, investigate the needs and wants of those around you the emotions underneath the surface actually run this show. Hmm. See? So, our conscious surface level self ain't running the show. Mm -mm. Our subconscious deep-rooted emotions are. 
So are you truly happy? Are you truly confident? Are you truly sure? Do you truly want it deep down? Hmm? Not on the surface level of in my mind, I'd like that. In my mind, sure, I'm open for that. I'm open to receive and all that. But deep down inside, it's like, how are you really feeling? What you really thinking deep down in there? That's deep. So the challenge says, look to feelings rather than logic to move this situation forward. Notice any strange responses to anxiety, touchy personal defenses, neo, what is it, nepotism, um, subjectivity or insecurity, either in your motivation or in those around you. So this, this doesn't have to be you. Some of y'all, this could be a family situation that needs to be healed. A repetitious thing that maybe you getting to go. Cause I don't know. I don't it's like what the fuck does that mean? I, when I see Saturn, I do think of Saturn return. And when I see Saturn with structure and I've seen Capricorn come up, um I could think about the head of a generation, a household, um, whether that's you being the new leader of the world, you know, our star seeds and millennials, no shade to the rest of y'all, uh coming out of generational situations or whatnot, it could be that deep. Because family, healing, perception, um, and or just your thing. Whatever your thing is and the perception about it and the deep root cause of it. And healing is the outcome or the advice. So something could be happening. You don't know. You don't know the fuck I'm talking about right now. And it's like this lady just talking and these people listen to this shit. And something happens to you that still, whether you likes it or not, is going to heal something in you or somebody else. You could be the asshole, and it could be your kids, your coworkers, your, and so it's like, don't say that, but I'm saying you could be, because it's like cross watchers are welcome. Just imagine it's you and your smart ass, right? And somebody else is healing from you, not gonna lie. Some of your grandparents and parents, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, I didn't turn this recorder on to lie. Um, and, some of you have parents, bosses, grandmothers, grandfathers, aunts, uncles, parents, lovers, whatever. But somebody's going to change their perspective and get structure. Um, and that could be you or somebody who ain't going to play with you. I'm not going to lie to you. So shout out to the cross watcher or the person. But shout out to you too, whatever. Now the beauty or the gift of this here moon card is you are the one with the ebb and flow. So even if you don't feel fully in control or you're not controlling it from the most potent place, which is the subconscious, you're still in control. It says, watch what sign the moon occupies each day and let the moon teach you about its phases. And those of you that are alchemists, since you are star seeds and stuff, I heard something about a Pisces moon. And then when something comes up from the base of the spine and do some magical shit in your brain, that's how like Jesus became amazing. Or I don't know, I want to disrespect nobody's religion, but... I just heard something about a Pisces moon and um, some shit that happens that's pretty cool. So, not that other moon phases aren't amazing, right? The outcome or the advice is one of my favorites. It talks about the wounds that you could have came onto this planet with, which ironically could be the same shits that you're facing. Look at that, it's a cobra there and it's a, it's a snake there, it's kind of cool with a lady and a flower. That's kind of cool. Um, shout out to Erica. and she from Dallas? D-Town, stay down. Hey, Texas. So anyway, Chiron. Uh, heal, right? That's the outcome and or advice. So I like it. Either way, the outcome is a beautiful healing situation. It's coming in, which I like. I like how these roots are wrapping around this tree. And it's just like unity and it's peaceful and it's good. It's not like scary and dark and serious right it's it's the ebb and flow i like it it's top to bottom and all within um i like how that feels and like i said this i don't think this is a shadowy moon energy which is probably why there's a 19 on it so it's the number of the sun but it says moon so it's giving me like that whole temperance energy that's been coming up that whole yes and no that whole take away all of those gender roles or whatever's plaguing you because the sun being masculine never meant man it just meant really strong and so the moon meaning feminine never meant soft or a girl it's just different aspects of the power 
So wake that up. Um, don't want to say that too loud though, because then the fellows would be upset. Like, what do you mean? There's no masculine and feminine. They're all they're the same in my perspective. It's just one exerts the power out and the other I feel like does a different kind of thing with it like the moon orbiting the earth or whatever happens causes something with the water and the people and it's just cool yeah but then the sun has this source of power that goes from where I'm at out instead of holding things in and no one is better than the other they're just different so um, that perspective is very non-biased and could be very healing for deep-rooted issues. Don't know. But Chiron in this deck, look at that. It's like, oh, you're giving him too much germ. So anyway, Chiron is often referred to as the wounded healer. Okay? Any wounded healers in the audience, this may be for you. Find purpose in your problems. Hard-earned wisdom is now relevant and needed. See, you already know the game. You're, it's deep down. It's in you, right? Even if you never quite heal, um, in this place of karmic tenderness, whatever the situation could be for you, you have the wisdom to pass on once you metabolize the information. So it's like, even if this is new for you, even if it kicks your ass, um, you'll gain something from it that's going to like make you dope. So however you want to take that. Because uh, I'd be like, well, damn, can I be dope without all that shit? And I don't know, because if it takes that to get you to dope, that means that there could be something that you're holding on to that makes you less dope. And if you got to get kicked off the ledge to jump, that's not Source's fault that it got to kick you because you didn't jump on your own. So shit, I'm just going to kick you. And then you'd be like, damn, why'd you kick me? I'm just fumbling down rocks and I wish you could have warned me. And it's like, I said, jump. You didn't, so I don't know. The challenging aspect is the situation can set off touchy memories or poke you where it still hurts. Uh oh. Well, this is a warning <laughs> that I appreciate. If any of us manifest this, just be mindful to take this opportunity to heal so those old places can transform. All right. Uh, the gift of the matter is to allow the pain and troubles of the past to become the wisdom and compassion of the present moment that is deep now the bonus card is structure um so maybe if we if we have some glass ceilings or some some rose colored glasses and we built some things um on a faulty structure that could be a thing and or not um saturn in this uh guidebook or whatnot is the ruler of course of personal authority teeth bones maturity borders discipline tradition so look how that comes up traditions as we talked about roots hmm? it says like jupiter is a huge gas planet right with its rings and its ice rocks and all that kind of stuff that's why it represents the boundaries of the now that's pretty i can do that make me water okay all my air signs all my water signs shout out to y'all and everybody else um, it's a good song to be ending with. But anyway, Saturn traditionally rules Capricorn. Oh, Aquarius. And could take 29.5 years to round the zodiac, so be mindful of that. There's also a seven-year itch in a marriage. And 21 as the traditional age of adulthood. So Saturn is wrapped up in seven, 21, 29.5. That's dope. I didn't know that. How many of you guys have had a seven-year itch of some sort? Um, Saturn asks you to step into the next level of maturity and personal authority. Think of Saturn as a martial arts master who pushes you to grow through those workouts. Then I just say some of us was about to get pushed in a good way or a bad way. Some of you could be accepting more responsibility, taking something to the next step, and it's like, let's go. Honor the teacher, but don't give your power away. Listen to the experts and mix their wisdom with your own experiences. That could be why perception was in there, right? Now the challenge is be careful not to cling to old concepts. I love that. The old concepts of success or hold on to the brittle system that restricts potential and leaves people discouraged. The gift is the ancestors call 
you to wisdom and maturity to know your gifts and limitations this process may be an initiation a test that empowers you maybe a test that's about to empower you make it a good one for me because because that's what i say and if you say that too then let the test and the games begin child